It is November here in North Dakota, and as you can see, we are already experiencing our first blizzard. This is up to my knees almost, like right here. Ooh. My camera's about to die because it's so cold. Look how much is already layered on the trees. Those are icicles up there. What do you think about this, Mello? Say, so we're not used to all this in Kentucky. The snow is off of my driveway. Here's the pile from all of it. It's time to go make some breakfast. So I've actually tried to make a video two times this week and it's been so cold that my camera dies. This time it's not negative degree weather. I think it's like 10 degrees, so hopefully it works. Third time's the charm. A few new things going on in the SUV. I have a chair for Mello now, a little dog bed. She's not coming because it's way too cold. I also have a heater that I'm gonna try out. It's a little buddy heater. It's a winter wonderland. These trees are so pretty. Look at all that snow from plowing the roads. I've never seen this much snow in my life. It's so crazy. That was all in the middle of the roads. <laughs> So I'm actually friends with the guy who plows the town. I'm gonna be able to get some up close footage of that. And after I get that, I'm going to find a spot to park the RV, RV, <laughs> I wish. Park the SUV and then cook us up some breakfast. This is pretty awesome. Look at this. <laughs> That's a true North Dakota kid right there. Operation find a spot to cook some breakfast. So I have all of my stuff for my breakfast here, but first I want to set up my heater and see if that works. Nothing's happening. Okay, why is this not working? Push to ignite after lit, hold for 30 seconds. Okay, so it's definitely giving off heat. It just is not as bright as I thought, but if you look closely, you can see it, that it is giving off heat. So I can feel it when I put my hands up to it, which is nice. Look. You don't even need a cooler when it's this cold. Everything just stays cold. I really need to totally revamp my SUV setup. I think I'm gonna head south soon and stop in Kentucky and just get everything good in my SUV to be able to travel in it longer. Because right now it's very minimalistic, but I need to do way better with it if I want to travel and camp in it often. Right now I have nowhere to even set this in there without it falling over and potentially causing a fire. I need to shut the doors so that my battery doesn't die. This heater feels so amazing. Oh my goodness. This is a game changer right here.
I hope my lighter is still in here. One of them stopped working. Oh, yes. It is cold, but I am thoroughly enjoying this right now. I honestly thought it would be harder than it is, but with my new camera setup, which is this thing in my mouth, and I have my other camera right here, it just makes the process so much easier having it like this, because usually I have to put my camera somewhere and then I have to keep track of the food. It's just such a better process. I need to keep doing little things like this to make filming easier because it's so much more enjoyable when I do that. The peppers are freezing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep it like that. My bed's getting nasty, so I'm gonna have to wash these sheets because I don't have a pullout or anything I can cook on aside from that. Definitely gotta figure out something for this. All right, let's see the big reveal. Come on, look at that. Any indication of how cold it is, my propane has frozen over while I was cooking. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. Is this gonna be good? This is my ideal way to spend a cold day. Why be indoors when you can make an omelet outside post blizzard? I have so many ideas for converting my SUV, like a revamp. I really love cooking. I really love YouTube. I wanna combine those two things and make a perfect camper to where I can film easy, I can cook gourmet meals, and just really enjoy it and make the process easy on myself. Okay, that omelet was, I'm not even joking, the best omelet that I've ever had. And I've eaten a lot of omelets in my life. These right here I did not eat because they are frozen solid. It really is beautiful out here, but the south is calling my name and I'm missing my friends and family. So I'll be heading there soon to Kentucky and then maybe to Florida or Texas or something like that. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys.